welcome back to this pure maths paper one hack series a level and another question that can be a hundred percent pretty much a hundred percent predicted is the binomial series question and so looking through five six seven years of past papers I have narrowed it down to there's only four ways that they can ask this question 95% of the time it will be asked in one of these four ways and we're going to go through each of those ways in this video uh, before I start I just want to say that you should download this worksheet which I made I put a lot of effort into it and the worksheet has the fundamental content of the question which is just this simple binomial series which you need to understand and we'll just quickly go through that and it also goes through the categories in which they can ask this question so there's two main categories, two main ways they can ask this question, and sort of four sub ways. And this covers pretty much all of the ways that they can ask it. I've then extracted examples of all of those different categories of ways they can ask the question. And there's lots and lots of those examples. And then I've uh, done all the answers for you. So this is a really useful resource. So download that and go through it and look at my answers as well. Um, okay, that'll be in the link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. The binomial series question is obviously on the binomial series and it, they ask it every single year. So it's guaranteed to come out. So let's get it down. So first of all, I'm just going to, just going to, well, you should go away and understand this binomial series. This is the fundamental content that you need to understand. You need to understand what this equation means. And basically what this equation is, is just a way to expand brackets. That's it. So if you've got something like this, what you usually do is you just, you know, you'd write it out like this. 1 plus x, and then you times it in. So you times 1 by 1, and you get 1, and then you get plus x, and then you get plus, you know, plus another x. I'm sure you know how to do this, which gives you 1 plus 2x plus x squared. Now that's a, that's a fine way to do it, but this basically does that for you. So if you were to use this equation here, so let's just go down a little bit. If you were to use this equation here instead of expanding it out, well, the best way you want to do is you just, you know, to make it clear, your A is 1 here, up here. Uh, your B is X and your N is 2. You can see that. You plug those in so then you just plug it into here you get uh, well your a is 1 to the power of n which is 2 plus now this is like a co called a combination formula it's down here and usually your calculator will have uh, I mean it should have a way to uh, calculate this so you just need to plug these into the into your calculator but I'd recommend going away and understanding what that actually is so this would be 2 1 and your a is 1 to the n minus 1, which is 2 minus 1, which is, we'll just put that in. Well, I mean, 2 minus 1 is just 1. Uh, b is x, so this is x to the 1. And you should have, I mean, you should have gone through this in class. I don't know how long I'm going to spend on this. 1 to the 2 minus 2 is 0 uh, times x squared. And then if you just simplify this down, 1 plus this is equal to 2 if you put it in your calculator so that's 2x and this is equal to 1 and 1 to the power of 0 is 1 so this is plus x squared and as you can see they're the same so it's a way of expanding these brackets and why the hell would you want uh, this formula well what happens if you have like 1 plus x to the power of 13 well you know you don't want to write that out 1 plus x times 1 plus, you don't want to write that, it's going to take too long. So that's the that's the formula. And now the way that they can ask this binomial, on this binomial series formula, this question is split into four different ways. And you're going to see all of those different ways right now. The first way that they can ask you, ask a question on this, is they can ask you to find the coefficient. And a coefficient is simply um, 
the number in front of our variable. So the coefficient of x in this expansion of 1 plus x squared, 1 plus x bracket squared is 2. That's the coefficient of our x. The coefficient of our x squared is 1. And the term independent of x is 1 as well. So find the so find the coefficient. So and this is split up into two ways. So they can ask you to find the term independent of x, or they can ask you to find the coefficient of some x. Like that could be x squared, x cubed, x to the power of five. Like they could ask you to find the term independent of x, which would be one in this case, or they could ask you to find the coefficient of x squared. So like here, find the term independent of x. This is an example of that, and they ask this all the time. So find the term independent of x in the expansion of this. Well, all you're going to do is you're going to look at your formula here. And so if you, I would recommend writing it out every time you start this up so you get familiar with it. Plus n1 a to the n minus 1 b plus n2 a to the n minus 2 yeah double check it just to make sure b squared plus usually won't need more than that but you can see the trend and so if you wanted to find the term independent of x you need to think well when when this is plugged in because remember this is your a so your a equals 2 over x and this is your b so your b equals minus 3x when you plug this in you're going to want the term, so these are all individual terms in this expansion, you're going to want the term where there is no x, so where these x's cancel, and that's going to occur when your a to the power of 3 and your b to the power of 3, because then those will, you'll have an x cubed on the bottom and an x uh, cubed on the top, and they'll cancel out. So in that expansion, if you the term you, you're interested in, the term independent of x, is the term where your n is 6, 3, and that gives you an a, remember we can plug it in later, a to the 3, because it's n minus 3, we'll just do it all out so you understand, and a b to the 3. And this is the term in that expansion that's independent of x, because you're going to get a 6 to the 3, of a which is 2 over x cubed times b which is minus 3 x cubed and you can see you're going to get an x cubed on the top and an x cubed on the bottom and they're going to cancel out so you just plug this into your calculator and you'll find the term independent of x and that is for all of these styles of questions when they ask you to find the term independent of x you need to look for the term in which those x's are going to cancel out cool Another thing they can ask you is to find the coefficient of x to the n, which means find the coefficient, they might ask you find the coefficient of x in the expansion of uh, some bracket, so in this case it's, it's this, or they could ask you to find the coefficient of x squared, x cubed, x4, x5, whatever. It's easy because you can just use your equation, use your binomial series. So the coefficient of x, let's say x squared, in the expansion here, well, that's just going to be the term 6, uh, 2, and then that will mean that you'll get an a to the 4 and a b squared. And the reason it's this is because your a, so this is then equal to 6, 2, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but you should get the idea, 2 to the 4, and your, uh, your b is, remember this is 2 plus minus x, so that's your b your a plus b so your b is minus x squared and you can see you're going to get the x squared term so you know if you expand this out I'll just do this real quick for you c so you plug that in you get 15 times 2 to the 4 times 2 to the 4 which gives you 240 240 times minus x squared is just x squared so that means the coefficient of x squared is 240 so that's your answer 240 and there's lots of examples on the worksheet along with the solutions of all of these different categories the next possible way they can ask you 
So that was the first big category. Is they're asking you to find a coefficient. So and they can ask you in two ways to find the term independent of x and to find the coefficient of xn, which means find the coefficient of x, x squared, x cubed, x4, whatever they can ask you in some expansion. The next possible thing they can ask you is to find the value of a constant. And those questions will sort of look like this here. So, and they can ask you to find some constant. So in this case, your constant is A, some unknown constant. And they can ask you to do that when two coefficients are equal. So you can see here, in the expansion of 2 plus AX to the 7, the coefficients of X and the coefficients of X squared are equal, find the value of A. So in order to do that, you need to find the coefficient of x in this expansion and find the coefficient of x squared in this expansion, which is just the same way as you did it like this. And then you're going to have some term of, you're going to have something, something x and then some, something x squared, probably in terms of a. And then you just set, because it says they're equal, then you just set these two coefficients, once you found them, you set them equal to each other. So let's say that the coefficient, this isn't, this isn't the answer, I'm just speculating. Let's say the coefficient here is ax, and the coefficient here is uh, 2 plus, well, let's say 2a squared. Well, then what you say is because those two are equal, then we can see that r we cancel we'll get one equals two a so then a equals a half if that was the case of those two coefficients so that's what you do is you just find those two coefficients and you make them equal for those style of questions and the last so that's that's it so there's that's three categories so the last one is the po possible one is to find a constant given the coefficient of xn so given some coefficient, so you're given some coefficient. So in this case, you're given the coefficient of x cubed. So this, let's just let's just take this each one. So the first, write down the first four terms in the ascending powers of x. So you have this a minus five, oh, a minus x to the five. So if we look at the expansion of this, well, we're just going to get using our formula a to the five plus 5, 1, a to the 4, times minus x to the 1, plus 5. This is just using the formula. So, you know, you need to understand that formula. a to the 3, minus x squared, and then it says, what, 4? So plus, so this is the first four terms, plus a to the, a squared, minus x cubed. And if you just write that out, you can remember you can plug all these um, into your calculator. So 5 combination 1 is 5. So this is a 5 plus, remember we've got a minus, so it's going to be a minus 5a4x plus 5 combination 2 is 10 a cubed x squared and then 5 combination 3 is 10 as well so it's going to be minus 10 a squared x cubed so that's your first four terms and then it's asked you and they always have it in this sort of structure where they ask you to find uh, this first so then they ask you the coefficient of x cubed in the expansion of 1 minus ax and times a minus x5 is negative 200, find the possible values of the constant a. Well, in order to do that, and this is a little more tricky, but still very not too hard. In order to do that, we know that two things are going to combine together in this expansion here um, to produce our x cubed term. We're going to get the 1 times this x cubed part because remember in the expansion of a minus x to the 5 which we found here this is the first four terms so we're going to get a 1 times that part which gives us a part of that um, 
combination. And we're going to also get a minus ax times this part, because the x and the x squared will give you an x cubed term as well. Yeah, so we can do that if you want. So the, you know, for this one minus ax, um, and then a minus x to the five. Well, the only two terms that are going to contribute to the x cubed term is the one times in in to the ten a cubed. Oh, the minus. 10 a squared x cubed part and then the minus so we're going to also get a minus a x times in n to the 10 <coughs> um, a cubed x squared part yeah so then we get a minus 10 a squared x cubed plus a minus 10 a 4 x cubed. So our total is a 10 a squared minus 10 a 4 x cubed so that's our that's our um, coefficient of x cubed and it says that that is equal to negative 200 so therefore our minus 10 a squared minus 10 a 4 equals negative 200 and then we can find a right so we can factor out a minus 10 a squared of 1 plus a squared equals negative 200 so boom, we can get rid of this like this a squared plus a squared equals uh, negative I mean positive 20 and then so this is just a 4 plus a squared minus 20 equals 0 and then we can just work this out it's just a squared plus what five yeah plus five a squared minus four probably don't need to go through all this so you get an a squared equals negative five which is not possible and you get an a squared equals four so a equals plus or minus two cool so that's how you i mean i probably shouldn't have gone through all that but if you found it helpful, found it helpful. so in summary what i'm saying is this question can only be asked in four ways and those four ways I have shown you examples of each of them and how you should approach them so that's why you download the worksheet and do the worksheet and after you've done that that means that you can do every possible way that they can ask this question I think over 30 past papers they asked it these four different ways 28 times there was only two times that they asked it in a kind of different funky way. And I put those two different times on the worksheet and answered those for you, just in case those things come out, but they probably won't. They'll come out in these four different possible categories that we've gone through here. So understand the fundamental binomial series, understand that which I went through and explained to you it's just a way of expanding and then go through and practice each of these categories of questions which I give you on the worksheet that's it for the binomial series question so get it down and you'll get a hundred percent on that question in the exam